sea cucumbers are a popular delicacy throughout Asia. Dried, they sell for hundreds, even thousands of US dollars a kilo. Indonesia is the world's biggest sea cucumber exporter, followed by the Philippines, then Papua New Guinea. These Indonesian divers from Simalu Island in Sumatra earn as little as 20 US dollars a day, and they risk paralysis because of bad diving practices. Idil Kam became paralyzed after diving for just five months. He never walked again and died in August 2012. His family couldn't afford the medicines that might have kept him alive. He was just 19 years old. Some of the fishermen recover only to become paralyzed again. Radian has been paralyzed twice. He can't deep sea dive anymore, but goes out snorkeling six days a week to catch octopus. He earns about five US dollars a day. Jerlin was paralyzed in 2003 after diving for a year. He received treatment from his family and a traditional healer. He recovered and still dives for sea cucumbers. The Similu Island fishermen use the hooker system, relying on makeshift equipment with no proper filters. They're connected via lengths of tubing to an air compressor on the boat. They dive up to 40 metres deep for an hour or more at a time. When they return to the surface, their bodies are saturated with nitrogen and this can lead to paralysis. The fisherman's priority is to find the prized gadger or elephant cucumbers. As stocks get depleted, they dive deeper and stay down longer to find them. Ideally, the fishermen shouldn't be diving deeper than 30 metres and only for 15 minutes at a time. The Similu divers are even breathing in carbon monoxide. The air compressor they use lies right next to the boat's engine. Sold before drying, one kilo of gaja sea cucumbers sells for about 54 US dollars. After the catch is dried, it's sent to Medan, the capital of North Sumatra province. It's then exported mainly to China and Singapore. Middlemen make sizable profits. Between 20,000 and 40,000 tonnes of sea cucumbers are bought and sold in the Asia-Pacific region annually. The Asian market is worth an estimated 60 million US dollars per year. These dried Japanese sea cucumbers are on sale in Singapore for 2,800 Singapore dollars. That's nearly 2,200 US dollars per kilo.
United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization says sea cucumber stocks are under intense fishing pressure throughout the world. The organization has called for catch quotas, minimum size limits, no fishing during breeding seasons and better monitoring of the status of stocks. In the early 1980s, the Similu fishermen could get sea cucumbers by diving just three meters underwater. In the 1990s, they started using compressors. Now they have to dive down at least 15 meters. For the prized gadger, they have to descend to the seabed. The result is grief and hardship for Idil's parents and for the families and friends of other divers who have died. Poverty traps hundreds of people within a system that exploits the weakest and benefits a favoured few.